Autistic people are slow. Well, no, let's get into what's happening in the autistic brain. Synaptic pruning is a neurodevelopmental process where the brain starts to eliminate synapses that it no longer finds to be efficient. The synapses that get used the least are weaker, and that's how the glial cells know to engulf them and get rid of them. The expression use it or lose it is very much real and is happening in the brains of neurotypical people throughout their development. This process helps shape things like language acquisition, motor skills, sensory processing because pruning directly impacts cognitive flexibility and organization when learning new things. A study done in 2014 by Mark S. Shelley and colleagues found in post-mortem brain tissue of autistic individuals there was a high density of synapses in cortical areas indicating that pruning was impaired and did not occur. So what does this tell us? Well, when we are learning new skills and receiving information, it might stick to the brain better and become more assimilated into that brain if the synapses are a little bit more organized and there are less of them. And this surplus of synapses in the autistic brain may affect how information is processed. It might be an explanation as to why certain autistic individuals experience things like sensory overload, repetitive behaviors or thought patterns, difficulty in conversations with multiple people. It is not because they are slow. It's because their brains are processing more information than you could ever imagine all at once. When educating an autistic learner, it is imperative to give them processing time at least 30 seconds for each prompt or cue, and do not give multiple cues at once. The prompt or cue should reflect where that learner is linguistically. Limit the amount of language if need be, and always provide visual support. Follow at Support the Spectrum to learn more about neurodiversity affirming practices and the science behind them. And as always, meet people where they are at, not where you or others expect them to be.